After the discovery of the New World, it didn't take long for some unscrupulous Spanish conquerors to sour the native population to European culture, including the Catholic faith. Spanish friars tried to offer an alternative view of Mother Church, but only managed to convert a small minority of Mexicans. That is, until the Mother of God intervened. In December of 1531, the Virgin Mary appeared on a hill to a native Catholic convert named Juan Diego while he was on his way to Mass. She asked him to bring a message to the local bishop, requesting that he build a chapel in her honor. The bishop wasn't convinced at first and asked Juan Diego to bring him a sign from the lady. Soon after, the lady appeared again to Juan and asked him to go back to the hill where he first saw her to pick flowers, which he was to bring to the bishop. It sounded crazy to go gathering flowers in winter, but when Juan got to the hill, he was able to pick so many that he couldn't even carry them all. He took off his tilma, a simple poncho-like coat, and stuffed it full. Lest the bishop remain unconvinced, Juan Diego hurried to show him the sign. Look, a bouquet! Flowers grew in winter! But when Juan emptied the flowers on the floor, the bishop fell to the floor too, onto his knees in reverence. And he wasn't looking at the flowers, he was looking at Juan's tilma. There, where the flowers had been, was a beautiful image of the Blessed Lady. The bishop immediately built the chapel and enshrined Juan Diego's tilma and the image of Mary inside. Then the real miracle happened, the miracle that Mary had come to perform in the first place, what Catholic historian Mike Aquilina has called the largest mass conversion in history. That's right, millions of natives came to the chapel and finally became Catholic. The image from Juan Diego's tilma, now known as Our Lady of Guadalupe, soon became an emblem of Mexican Catholicism. Today, Our Lady of Guadalupe is also honored as the patroness of the Americas. Her feast day is December 12th. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.